Hi, it's Keith. I've been now back in Hong Kong after my trip to China. I hope some people watch my blog. So I'm going to talk today about a different topic. We're still for the use of the storage, but it's an up and coming problem. And it will be a huge problem in many, many countries. Electric car. Everybody is going to be go using electric car in the next few years. All car in, in the UK will become electric. They're going to actually uh, abolish the use of a petrol car. And this is a transition period, I think, with a hybrid, but plug-in hybrid. Then it is just the, it is the electric car. So let's talk about the problem. So we talk about, I, I'll use it as a UK house, but I'm sure in Africa and other countries we've got the same problem. So you're familiar with my drawings, they're pretty bad. So if I draw this, uh, my house, okay, okay, there's my house, okay. Now, simple problem. Coming into my house, I have my feed from the uh, utility. And typically in the United Kingdom, we are looking at the upper side is 100 amp, but quite often you can be as low as 60 amp or maybe something in between is your feed into your house. So I've got a 60 amp feed and that's gonna power all the house. Now I, I've got maybe, I may have several bays in front of my house, may just have one. Let's just look at one. So I park my nice new car here. And here. Okay, that's my drawing of a car. I've got to plug it in to charge it up. This is the problem. So the car itself, if you're looking to say, uh, a Tesla or something, these charge at around about the 40 amp. The charge, so we put my charging box here and I plug my car into, into it, that's my drawing of the car. Draws 40 amp. Now the problem is, if I've only got 60 amp powering the whole house, maybe a problem if I run my heater or if I've got an air conditioner or if I've got an electric cooker or uh, whatever, a shower unit, a shower unit itself, you know, I use a shower unit, I have a shower, shower may take 30 amp off a shower unit up to its upper limit. Well, hold on, 40 and that is 70 amp. Mm, can't do it. Pump, fuse goes, depending on your feed. If I've got two cars, imagine if I've got two electric cars and many people in the UK and many countries may have more than one vehicle. I've got two cars, two boxes, plug it in, 40 amp, 40 amp. Neither have a problem, they've both got the same issue. So this is where storage comes into it, and this is the beauty of using storage. If these power boxes are basically using what we call a power maker, which is a battery and an inverter, so what will happen here is this will trickle charge into these batteries. It will fill the battery. And we could typically put in here, say maybe, we don't need a huge amount because often the battery, often the cars just need topping up. They're not a full charge, but if they have a full charge, we can run it overnight. But it's often you pull in from the shops, you want to charge it back up again. And so it'll a fast 40 amp charge for several hours, whatever. But we can store the power here in the power maker. And the power maker with, an, with our inverter, our, a 10 kilowatt inverter, lots and lots of power, you know, the 10 kilowatt inverter will provide. And, and each box will have a couple of batteries. So people say, well, and it will, it will trickle charge. So therefore it won't use, maybe at the peak time when you're coming in and you're needing the power at home, you can charge your car and you're not using any of your electricity or your supply from your utility. You can charge these batteries up at low rate. So often, for example, in many countries, you have dual rate. Now, I know in Australia, we're, we're looking at two rates. And what I've been told is coming out is 55 cents peak and uh, eight cents off peak. Why are they doing the split tariff? Simple, because of the, the amount of solar that's going up, more and more solar. The utilities have got a great stabilization of the utility. So they're gonna have two tariffs. UK have had two tariffs since I, since I was a kid. I've always had it, we used to call it Comedy 7. So UK's had two tariffs, but Australia just launching a split tariff. Absolutely no brainer for using your batteries. You use it for just charging your car. You don't want to rewire your house, do anything. You use it for that. You could, you could, you, if your batteries are full and you want to use it for some of your utility, for some of your house, fine. But the purpose of this blog, we're talking about electric cars, the future of the planet, everything's going to be electric car. You will now be able to have your own filling station on your front door. So the purpose is we want to try to get the um, the garages, the car dealerships to adopt this because people say it's quite expensive. But if you put it in context with the price of a car, you know, how much is a Tesla car? 80,000. How much is a cheap electric car? 40,000. 
if we say uh, your, 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 your sort of filling station of your house installed is between five, six, seven percent of the cost of the car, you could find that you could probably we could probably do a deal and get the garage to finance it. So you know, therefore you get for free, and therefore you've got cheap running. And then if you choose, you can put a couple of solar panels up, and it's even cheaper. And in many countries, you can directly charge your your mini, I call it fuel station, your fueling refill station, and you can run it off your solar panel if you want to. You can run it from uh, your off peak, your cheap electricity. But the most important thing is you're not limited on your supply. The same thing happens if you're in a company. Now, companies have got even a bigger problem. So if we take this off and we're talking about, uh, say, a, a factory. Now, we look at this is where it comes a bigger problem. So we've got a factory or a big office. So here's my drawing, a big office, OK, big office. And they've got the feed coming in. Now, they, they might have a bigger feed. So typically, they've got three phase. So we've got three phase feed, maybe 100 amp per phase times three. Wow, fantastic. Well, then we, we've got we've got 10 car parking bays. Be aware, all will be electric. All the employees will have the right to charge their car. We put 10, 10 parking bays needing 40 amp each. It's 400 amp. 400 amp that's needed. We've only got 300 amp power in the whole office. It's very common. It's a very common. You can't do it. So we can say to the electricity company, we're going to run new cables in. It's going to cost an absolute fortune. It's not possible, it's gonna cost a fortune. So for the company, they've got to do something like a local battery storage. And if we use our micro power maker and we put one per bay, so each bay, and we buy it when we buy the car, it's gonna problem solved. So think about it. So yeah, this is what I want to try to promote, is power maker, electric car, mini power station for everybody and that's the future i really think that is a good future and it's a good market to be aiming for thanks for watching my blog